Welcome to Second Chance Garage. This is Uncle Russ. I got a gift card for Christmas, so I went to Harbor Freight and uh, bought something that I think might be kind of cool. It is an under under the hood rechargeable light. Yeah, it's supposed to have a magnet at both ends. So let's just open this up and see. They had them on sale, plus I had a, a gift card from Christmas. So let's see. Yep. Uh, all right. Now, let's dump this out. Put down the old pizza cutter. The only thing I got to cut pizza with. <laughs> okay. Now, okay, that's empty. There's this. There's this. There's this. And we'll just quick see. Ah, we got you over here. Okay. I don't know. Give me a tight here. Uh, let's take this off. Saran wrap. Great. We'll just use the old pizza cutter here to see if we can cut this loose. Uh, that seems to be. Seems like recharging it right off the top of my head, but I'll uh, see if we can figure that out here in a minute. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. This stuff stinks, man. Okay. does have hooks on both ends, it appears. But when you work on as much stuff as I do, which is all the time, it seems like, of course, it's been kind of at a standstill since I had my camper in the shop the last couple of months. They are talking about having my house done by May. End of May. We'll see. So, we shall see. Okay. Come on off of here. Gee whiz, this is ridiculous. <sighs> Man, this is a pain. It's like saran wrap. What it reminds me of. Saran wrap. Ugh. Okay. Okay. There. Now. There it is. Uh. Okay. Now. It's got magnets at this end of it. And magnets at that end of it. And it's got hooks. You can fold up. I imagine that's for hanging. Uh, let's see. So you put it under the hood and then you can hang it by those. Uh, huh. Got a little port here for a charger. There's a charger port right there. But, uh, let's try, how do you turn it? Uh oh, let's fold these up. Yeah, let's break them off. Oh, there you go. That dude's going to be nice. I know you probably can't tell how bright it is, but it's pretty bright. Okay, now let me shut it off. Oh, under here. Oh, wow. Okay, that's off. I 
that's on low, that's on high. So, it's nice. It's got things you can hang underneath the hood, but I did not see a charging cable. Hmm. I don't see any way of charging it. It didn't come with a charging cable. What in the world is it that? Oh! <laughs> it fell out the box. Okay. There we go. This white box was down at the other end of it. Uh -huh. Oh, look at this. You can charge it off your cigarette lighter. Boy, that's nice. So if it's dead, you can just use the cigarette lighter of the car. Now, keep in mind, like with my Honda Civic, the battery is... The cigarette lighter and power ports are dead unless the car is running. So, all right, let's see. Okay, we, we know that's got that. Okay, now, oh, here's your charging, uh, your charging cable, which I bet you could plug in and just use for a power source if you wanted to. If, you want, if it was dead, you could run an extension cord, I bet. It would let you see how long it is. See how long it is. Mm -hmm. Hang on a second here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you spin wrenches as much as I do. Huh. Well, used to. Uh, and will again as soon as I get my house done. Yeah, okay. It starts here. It goes all the way to here. Okay, let's see. I'm six foot. And it pretty much hangs down to the ground. So, yeah, I'd say it's about six foot cord plug in. That's nice. All right. Let's save that. And then I'll throw these over here. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. It's got a power on on both ends, one here and one here. And then if you want to hang it, you can just fold it like this. And then just use like motorcycle bungee straps if you want to the hood of the car. And then you can turn it, oh, it's on the bottom. You can turn it on. No, it's so bright over here. That's stage two. Yeah, that's really nice. And I'm going to like that. And then if you want to put it on a car, like you're underneath the car, it's got magnets on this end. So you could even stand it up like this if you wanted to because you'd have it magnetized to something. You can turn it on like this. That's on low. So that's on high. Wow. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell or not. That's nice. Now that's just what the charger came with. That is awesome. Let's see how long this is. I'm hoping this is about 12 feet. It would be nice because if you're using a cigarette lighter in a car, uh, let's see here. Uh, my glasses were laying here a minute ago. Oh, here they are. Uh -oh. All right. Now let's untangle this. It's got a bread wrap around it. Okay, we'll come back to that. Anyway, it's a nice setup. I'm going to really like that. Yeah. So I'll put 
this in here. Yep. Okay. And then I'll show you something my brother got me for Christmas, which will be handy. That I didn't buy from Harper Freight. I got it as a Christmas gift. Oh, I'll go grab it real quick and show you. Okay, I uh, am using the Farmer Fleet Heart brand battery. I got a drill and an impact, and now I've got the sawzall that goes with it. So all the batteries will work together. I'll show it to you real quick. It's a real nice setup. She's, they're 20 volts. It comes with a I do have to lube this little foot thing up. But other than that, yep, you just slap the battery in her and she's good to go. And then you want to put it in. It's got this little thing here that you fold up. And it separates your jaws in there. I don't know if you can see it or not in there, but and that's if you just slide your thing in there. Hit the trigger, away she goes. And then it does have a slide switch. So in case you set it down, you don't want a kid or something grabbing a hold of it, you can slide it over and it locks the trigger. It's a trigger lock, which is nice. So anyway, I got that for Christmas for my brother. Very awesome. Very awesome. It matches my all my stuff. So batteries will work. You don't have to have separate chargers or any of that. And then with the gift card I got for Christmas. Okay. Well, obviously I got this. That is really cool. I'm really going to like that. What else I get? Oh. This is one of those uh, corner shape makers. Pizza cutter. <laughs> I do sterilize this before I cut pizzas with it. I got disinfectant wipes that are sterile. And I use them. And I use those to wipe the blade down before I. Okay. Now, how this works is you take this, I believe. And that gives you the exact shape you need if you're cutting a piece of wood and you're going to cut around a post. And then you just trace. Okay, that my finger's supposed to be the post. Okay, then it takes the shape of it and then you can just mark it with a pencil. And that tells you exactly how the shape of it is. You just slide these back. You want two fingers because you got a big wide post. Slide right in there. It gives you the shape with the little hump in the middle between the fingers. You just draw it. Then that way you can cut it out. Very handy. This one's only six inches wide. Or if say you got a, you got, say this is a piece of board. And it's a, like a 45 degree angle. You can just slide this up against the. All right. Well, my hand wasn't a very good 45 degree angle, but all right. We'll say this is a 45 degree angle. All right. So it gives you the shape. I'm trying to figure. Yeah. See, it gives you the shape. You just trace it out. And then when you cut your wood, it'll slide right in place. Yeah, and you just slide it back together. Those are pretty cool. Always wanted one of them. Okay, what else did I get? Four inch grinding wheels, steel grinding wheels, because I eat through those like they're candy canes at Christmas time. Okay, and then I bought one of 
of these. It's a wire wheel that goes on my three inch grinder for like when I was doing that trailer and stuff like that. Those are handy. And what else they get? Oh, there's a picture of it right on the back. It's a chainsaw attachment for my four inch hand grinder. In case you got a what a cut a limb or something and it ain't very big around. You know, it's only like well, you could cut probably this deep, you know, probably up in here somewhere. So probably that deep. And you got got it plugged in. You know, you can just or if you're got a log and say you take your log and then okay. Here, I'll show you. Okay, say this is a log in theory. And you put you can cut your letters into it. Say you're gonna play Bob. You can cut the B out with your chainsaw. And then once you get it cut with the chainsaw, then you can take that on your grinder and grind it back and forth to clear out the B. And you can leave your center in there, you know, stuff like that. Or you can use it for limbs or whatever, you know. It's an actual chainsaw blade on there. Yeah, it's an actual chainsaw blade on there. I got the bigger one of the two. You could get the smaller ones for more precision stuff if you're, you know, using it for like crafting with logs and stuff. They use these for like when they're taking a log and they're trimming it and making it into like a bear or something like that. You know, that kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm going to end this video because the last video was pretty long. But if you like it, subscribe. I haven't posted it yet, so that's why. <laughs> anyway, if you like it, subscribe. Second Chance Garage, Uncle Rust. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Uncle Russ out.